Welcome back to New Zero Lands. Yep, I'm selling the Energica. Alright, so I got myself into the situation where I can't just buy and sell a bike. I have to shoot a video about it to explain to everybody why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, this whole YouTube thing is kind of ridiculous, but at the same time, I, I guess I should have some kind of consistent storyline in my channel. So I feel like this video is important, and if you're watching this, you're probably curious what I'm doing. So let's talk about it. When I sold my AutoZam, remember the AutoZam? If you don't remember the AutoZam, I used to have a bunch of videos with it. I kind of shared this channel between the Zero and the AutoZam, and uh, you know, I upgraded the turbo on it, took it racing, and just it was really cool. And I was part of that community, and um, it was a fun time, and when I sold it, people were sad. I was sad. It was kind of a moment. Um, some people who followed my channel just for the AutoZam bailed, and I totally understand that. It makes sense. Well, I sold the AutoZam to get the Ego, and I don't regret it. It's been awesome. But when I got the Ego, a bunch of my Zero riding fans unsubscribed, because either I wasn't going to have as many Zero videos because I got a new bike, or because I'm a trader for not staying with the brand. Uh, even though I still have my zero, it's right here, guys. I, I haven't gotten rid of the zero, so. <laughs> anyway, this is the kind of crazy stuff that goes on when you make YouTube videos. You know, I, I get it. I, I fully expect people to be upset that I'm selling my bike and confused and angry and just like, well, what are you doing, man? But like the AutoZam, I'm selling the Energica for something else, something exciting. It's going to be sad to let it go though because it's so freaking good looking. Like I love just walking in the garage and seeing this, you know, this is like one of the best looking bikes I think um, and I'll definitely miss it. But at the same time, I've kind of done everything I wanted to do with the bike. You know, I, I took it to the track, took it drag racing, I took it all apart, put it back together, not on purpose, and I took it on the longest road trip I've ever been on, which was one of the best road trips I've ever been on. But since that road trip, I've just been using it to commute to work like five minutes away. And riding this fancy bike just to go to work doesn't make sense to me. I found that if it's not a special occasion, like if I don't have a reason to ride it, then I won't. Because riding in Energica is such an event, if that makes sense. It's kind of like uh, when you ride to work, you might just put on a jacket and some gloves or something, you know? But if you go on a weekend ride with your biker friends and you're planning on going fast, you know, you're gonna put on the full suit, the spine protector, the motorcycle boots. That is this bike. It's the special occasion bike. You get on it with purpose. And for me, over the past year, that just didn't happen as many times as I wanted it to. Zero, as weird as this is to say, is, is still kind of my go-to bike. It's my bike of choice for just throwing the jacket on and blasting around. You know, it's not fancy, it's not covered in carbon fiber, uh, it really doesn't like riding in the rain, but I can just jump on it and not really think about it and just have a good time. And I figure, you know, I've had a lot of amazing experiences with the Energica and now it's time for somebody else to have amazing experiences. You know, the whole purpose of this YouTube thing is to share what electric motorcycles are like and get people interested in them and, you know, get people to buy them and like just flood the streets with electric motorcycles. And so um, this is my way of sharing an electric motorcycle with somebody. And the guy who's buying this is awesome. This guy builds crazy powerful hot rods. So a crazy powerful electric motorcycle was the way to go. Now it's time to shop for more bikes. I know you guys just found out I sold my bike and I'm already moving on, but um, it's just how it is. So I used the last video as a gauge to see what you guys thought was the best pair of electric motorcycles we can get for road tripping in New Zealand for our specific situation where the charging infrastructure is like still kind of all over the place. Ideally we would have two of the same bike just so that we can charge in the same place at the same time because for some reason AC and DC stations are at the other side of town, I don't know why. Um, and then also if you have the same bike, you only need one set of spare parts and then also like one set of tools to bring with you on a trip. So it just makes sense. So I tallied up all your suggestions and here are the results. Seven of you actually voted for the sidecar idea. So thank you. But yeah, the winner by landslide was zero, which was kind of unexpected. So we've thought it over. We made our decision. We're going to get two brand new 